Let's talk about freedom of speech. Some people really don't get it. I was at a gig the other day, and this guy was like, I believe in freedom of speech. And I was like, yeah, so does everybody, you thick fuck. <laughs> and he genuinely went, hey, you can't say that. <laughs> freedom of speech means anyone can say what they want, which means anyone can say what they want about what you said. Freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom from consequence. I mean, you're well within your eyes to shout out someone else's name when you're making love to your girlfriend. But if you don't think at the very least there's going to be a discussion... <laughs> Did you enjoy that, baby? Not really. Who's Derek? <laughs> the way people talk about this country is hilarious. You can't say anything. It's like Russia. It's not. Do you know, a lot of comedy in Russia has to be pro-Putin. Imagine that here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Theresa May and she's brilliant. <laughs> Freedom of speech in this country is amazing. We're allowed to mock our politicians. I mean, I can go on telly and do this about Boris Johnson. My genitals are frankly crusty, useless and disgraceful. <laughs> and, and Boris... <laughs> and Boris would be within his rights to do this. I want my anus bleached to look like a porn star. I do, but... <laughs> but some people just love to be angry. I heard this thing on the radio the other day saying that Cardiff Met Uni had produced a guide saying what word staff should use to make the place more gender equal, and the callers were losing their shit. They're banning the word fireman! You can't say policeman! It's appalling! It's a disgrace! What next? Post-person Pat and his gender-fluid cat! <laughs> Bring back Diana! And you're like, calm down! All they're trying to do is create a world where anyone can have any job irrespective of their gender. That has to be a good thing, right? The main argument against this empathy seems to be, I wanted to be like it was when I was little. And you're like, what? A three-day week in a telly full of pedos? <laughs> why is it? Why is it that kids can evolve and some adults can't? We did it when we were nine. Remember when the teacher came in and said, right, kids, you can't say the words mong, spastic, and retard, and we were like, what? <laughs> These are our favorite words. <laughs> How are we gonna communicate? What about this? <sighs> That's gone too. It's gonna be a long winter, boys. <laughs> what do we do? We gave them up, because even as children, we realize they hurt people. Why is it some adults can't do what we did when we were kids? I wanted to be like it was when I was little. There's plenty of things I don't do from my childhood. I don't play with slinkies. I don't make decisions by going ip, dip, dog shit. <laughs> I no longer eat my favourite food, mainly because it was called faggots. <laughs> I remember skipping down the supermarket aisle going, we're going to eat some faggots. <laughs> we're going to eat some faggots. The point I'm making, we evolve. It's about knowing and being aware of the power of your words. A while back, I worked for the BBC and I did a piece about the Paris attacks where I said that ISIS weren't Muslims, they were terrorists. And the crowd cheered. And then, at the end of the show, the BBC lost their mind. You need to re-record it. You need to say that ISIS aren't devout Muslims. And you're like, are you worried we're going to offend ISIS? <laughs> what are they going to write in? <laughs> the uh, points of view. <laughs> Imagine my horror when I was misrepresented on a late night satire show. <laughs> Farouk and I will be cancelling our TV license. <laughs> Please excuse my handwriting, I have a hook for a hand. <laughs> Fuck those traitors to their faith. If they're killing people, the least I can do as a comedian is call them names. That's freedom of speech. And if ISIS gets upset, then fuck them. <laughs> That's another thing that gets me swearing. Some people get very upset. It's a sign of a poor vocabulary. That is tripe. That is piffle. That is border dash. It's poppycock. It's waffle. It's bunkum. I, <laughs> I swear, because I come from a working class family, and I had a dad who was terrible at DIY. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I was eight, I'd heard every colour of the rainbow. Every time he put a shelf up, I'd have a different treat for the playground. Seriously, Darren, he called a hammer a fuck monkey. <laughs> But some people really despise it. I was being lectured to the other day, and it was, like, she was like, there was, there's never, ever a situation where you should say the C word. And you're like, ah, come on. <laughs> Have you never watched the news? <laughs> there was a story the other day. This bloke had a heart attack 
and another man stole his wallet. And that man is a cunt. <laughs> he is... <laughs> He's a big, fat, stinking cunt. <laughs> to quote my dad when he's building a cupboard. <laughs> Good one, Dad, he nearly choked on my faggot. And... <laughs> And I know there'll be some people watching who will still be furious. You should never use that word. You don't own a vagina. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a massive difference between a vagina and a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> a vagina would never steal a dying man's wallet. <laughs> a vagina would never park in a disabled bay. <laughs> if you're watching a box set with a vagina, it would never skip ahead and watch the next episode without you. <laughs> I've never seen a vagina wearing Crocs. But... <laughs> if a word comes along that is more powerful than cunt, I will use it. I'm willing to evolve. I'm willing to accept that I may have to say farewell to that special, special word. But there isn't one in the minute. If someone breaks into your nan's house and steals her stuff, they aren't a silly billy. They aren't a nincompoop. <laughs> and if someone gets angry because they don't want to say firefighter or police officer or chairperson, then I think they're a bit of a cunt. <laughs> and they are allowed to disagree with me. And that is freedom of speech. <laughs>